and welcome back to the channel. I've been away for a couple of weeks. I've been grading a music video for a Melbourne band. Music video is really cool. I think it comes out in late April. So once it comes out, I'll put a link below in one of the projects, or one of the videos, sorry, not projects. And that way you can view it, unless I get to a thousand subscribers by then, then I can put it in that little story thing. You know that story thing that they have on YouTube, and that way you can view it there. But anyway, that's beside the point. Today we'll look at how to create a database on an external hard drive. Now this is actually really important because when you get a project from somebody, they will give you a hard drive and you want to save everything onto that hard drive. It makes it a lot easier for them. It makes it a lot easier for you. That way you don't have heaps and heaps of files on your computer and your computer's going to run faster and everything's going to be a lot better and everyone's going to be a lot happier. And that's what you want in life. Happiness. Am I right? Of course I am. Anyway, it is very simple. All you got to do is come up to new database here. So click that bad boy. Now, there's a couple of important things to remember. One is, this is very important, don't do a name that you're not going to remember. Do something that's very simple. So we're going to call ours tubes, as in YouTube. Now you can't do any capitals, and you can't do any spaces. So if you want to do a space, you can always do an underscore, but we don't want to do that. We're just going to call it tubes. Now you want to choose your location. Now of course our location is our external hard drive. So just come to browse and then go down and find your external hard drive. This one here. Now you want to make a folder. So let's call it tubes. Again, keep it as simple as possible. So I'll use highlight that select folder. Now create that by clicking create. Now you have your little project. Come back to our main screen here, our little project here. Now let's name this project. Why not? And again, we'll call it Tubes. <laughs> I feel like Tubes is a really dumb name, but I've committed to it. <laughs> now that's what it is. Alrighty, so now we have our projects and everything's great. But what happens if we went to a new computer? So it wouldn't show up like this. So let's disconnect that. Now we're back at our main screen. And as you can see, we don't have a hard drive. That's because it's been disconnected. So let's say that we've moved to a new computer. So maybe we've gone to the cinematographer's house or the director's house, and they have DaVinci, and they want you to make a couple more corrections, and you're like, no worries. Let's connect that bad boy up again, and then let's grade it. So you want to reconnect that hard drive, and again, it's very easy. All you got to do is come up to Connect Database, up the top here, click that. Now, come down to your location, which will be your hard drive here, highlight that folder again, and then go Select Folder, and then have a similar name, or the exact name, sorry, so again, tubes, connect. So as you can see, we have our project back. Everything is back to the way it was. We don't have a problem whatsoever. And everyone's happy. And like I said, always good to be happy. So that is a technique you will have to learn if you want to be a freelance colorist because you will just get a hard drive most of the time from people. Sometimes I will just get a single high-res clip and I'll use scene cut detection to cut it up and then grade like that. I have a video on that. So make sure to check that out. So that's another way of working with other people. I find it fantastic and I wish more people would do it. But sometimes if you have a effects driven project, you can't actually do it. You have to use an XML. So anyway, it's a good thing to learn and it's a must. You actually must learn this technique. There's no way around it. It's something you need to do. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Really much appreciated. And drop a comment below on anything you want to see. I've been Drew from Gingo Productions and have a great day.